have the Iowa already approaching northern Florida and just southeast of Perry, north of Cedar Key as well. Official landfall will probably take place in less than an hour or two. Back here at home, we're tracking those heavy rainfalls, um, basically some heavy rains and the rain bands passing through central Florida down into the west coast of Florida near Port Charlotte and even parts of Fort Bassinger and north of Okeechobee County. Near Jupiter and Boca Raton, we have some heavy rain still impacting Jupiter, West Jupiter, east of Abacoa that should exit out very soon. And these showers were producing those wind gusts close to 50 miles per hour. As we head into the afternoon hours, we'll see those rain bands passing through central Florida. A few lingering showers and storms will be possible later in the afternoon as well. Between 2 and 4 o'clock, we'll get a break of the rain overnight with partly to mostly cloudy conditions for today. And those temperatures will be above average near 91 to 93 degrees. And then tomorrow morning, we may see um, the tail end of Debbie basically just passing through. We'll see some strong thunderstorms most likely and some heavy rains possible. And that trend continues into the afternoon hours. I'll say between 2 and 5 o'clock in the evening with some clouds and some sunshine in between as well. Besides the rain and those cloudy conditions, I am tracking wind speeds up to 24 miles per hour in Okeechobee County. So breezy near our coastal areas in West Palm 34 because of those gusty showers out there. Things should be calming down very shortly. And then we'll see the wind stop um, subsiding basically in the next 24 hours. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, sustained winds close to 19 to even 20 miles per hour. Temperatures now in the lower 80s and the mid to upper 80s near Palm Beach Gardens and West Palm, 82 degrees. I'm keeping um, impact weather because of those downpours offshore. And we'll see more rain in the afternoon with those hot temperatures near 91 degrees. Out in the waters, we still have a small craft advisory for the boaters until today. A high risk of rip current, seas up to four feet and high tide after nine o'clock in the morning. And here's South Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. We'll see those hot temperatures returning to South Florida on Tuesday and Wednesday. We may see some heat advisories, 95 to 96 degrees with a good chance for some showers and storms lingering across South Florida. Hot temperatures again on Friday with a high of 90.